one of the questions that I often see discussed and very hotly debated by all of the online experts is whether or not you need to buy a better antenna for your new handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radio. I also see much fretting and hand wringing over how much better one brand's more expensive antenna is over some other brand's more expensive antenna. So the age-old question that many newcomers to the dynamic and exciting world of GMRS ask is, when you buy a new handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie, should you throw away the antenna that comes with it and spend even more monies for a better antenna? My friend, unlike all of those other more desperate YouTubers, I am not not going to stretch out this video just so that I can jam in more ads and then beg you to watch to the end. Nay, I am going to save your very valuable time and answer that question for you right here and right now. The answer is no. No, you do not need to buy a new antenna for your handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radio. And if that is all that you came here to find out, then you're done. You can go away now. However, if you want to enrich your life, be a better human being, learn something, and go to heaven when you die, then be sure to watch this video till the end. All handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radios come with an antenna that is pre-tuned and designed specifically for transmitting on GMRS channels. And usually, on average, most of the time, generally speaking, the antenna that came with your handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radio works very well for its intended use. Intended use. And when I say intended use, I mean that GMRS radios are intended to be used by normal people whilst doing normal person things, such as off-roading, hiking, caravanning, and other socially dynamic activities and adventures. GMRS radios are not, not intended for trying to bounce your signal off of the moon or very desperately trying to make contacts with anonymous men. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But if that is the lifestyle that you desire and are interested in, then you would probably be more satisfied with a hams radios or the grinder app on your phone. The fact in the matters is, is that when using a handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radio as intended, statistically speaking, on average, most of the time, you will never, never notice any difference in FARs between the antenna that came with the GMRS radio and any other screw-on antenna, no matter how expensive that screw-on antenna may be. And just for deconfoculation and hopefully, hopefully, to prevent a bunch of stupid comments from some people that are very desperate to show everyone how smart they think they are, in this video we are discussing screw-on antennas. We are not talking about external antennas that you could put on the outside of your car or on the roof of your house because those are way better than any screw-on antenna. What I am saying to you right now is just remember what your mama always says to you. And that is, just be happy with what you have because bigger ain't always better, sweetie. Now hush and finish your hot pocket and nuggies while mama and her boyfriend go upstairs. However, there are a few exceptions. There are instances where purchasing a better antenna is perfectly acceptable. Sometimes your handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radio might come with a defective or dud antenna. It's just a fact of life. It happens. It especially happens when buying the cheapest possible $20 handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radios you can possibly find from China. And when this happens, if you don't want to hassle with getting a replacement antenna from China, it might be faster, better, and easier and less frustrating to just buy a new name brand better antenna. Or maybe you want one of those better bigger antennas just so you can impress the chicks whilst hanging out in front of your local middle school or when you're walking around the mall with your radio very smartly affixed to your belt. Or perhaps you need a smaller 
more sporty antenna for adventures so it doesn't get in your way. In such a case, buying a better, smaller antenna is perfectly acceptable. Or if you have a fancy unlocked handheld HT walkie-talkie radio that transmits on GMRS and a wide range of other frequencies, then you may require an antenna that supports that wider range of frequencies. And this would be another perfectly valid reason for getting a better antenna for your handheld HT walkie-talkie radio. Or maybe you just don't mind wasting money every time some random dude in an online forum says that the antenna that came with your handheld HT walkie-talkie GMRS radio sucks, or even worse, is lame. Now, to be fair, to be fair, it is correct to say that some aftermarket antennas might, might work a little bit better than the stock antenna that comes with your radio if you are testing and comparing them with laboratory equipment. And maybe even in a simple side-by-side -side comparison where you're at the very edge of the range of FARs of your radio. However, the fact remains that when using your handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radio as intended, those differences are going to be so minor, so small, so unsignificant that your human ears will likely never notice any difference. What I am saying to you right now is stop paying attention to those socially broken radio dorks in the online forums that cannot even comprehend what the word adventure even means. And just go outside and use your GMRS radio for what it was intended to be used for. <laughs>